like when you think of AI, you think of like job displacements. Like, do you view this algorithm that you're developing as something that could eventually replace a radiologist or oncologist? Or do you view it working like simultaneously with them? Like, how, how do you view that interaction? Yeah, at its best, it should change the nature of their job. So there's a lot of impossible mm-hmm. questions we ask oncologists and radiologists today. Like you tell them, okay, like what should this person get next? They haven't. I mean, like they look at the guideline and the guideline's a bunch of people getting together, looking at the best available evidence and saying, well, we think it's this, but maybe there's no trial specifically for this particular question. It's really right. hard. There's no information there. So what AI can do, it can create the information so that we can have foresight and like informed decision. What's actually best? Is it an MRI or is it not? Uh, people just can't do that now. In really tricky treatment situations, like we wish we knew who's going to respond to therapy. We look right. at a trial. You're not the trial. That, that, that's just an average across the population, you know? Right. We take our best thing. If we can give you rigorous evidence that says for this person, this is actually better, they can use that information 